If the other options available aren't quite meeting your needs, you can check out the new Google Sites as a way to present your information. Simply go to sites.google.com forward slash new, and you'll go to this portal. You can also create them in Google Drive as well. When you're here, you will need to click on the blue, the red plus sign at the bottom right. And that will take you into the site builder. Now, this really couldn't be any easier. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, if you've used the old Google Sites, this is 10 times easier. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a quick tour of what you can do here. First of all, name your site. Energy presentation, page title. I don't know, whatever you wanted to call it. That may or may not be true. Uh, and then notice we have a few options now that we're clicked on this. We can change the style here. We can change the alignment. We can even hyperlink this if we wanted to, or we can trash it. The other thing is we get these little blue handles, and when you drag, notice you might not be able to see there are tiny little black lines that kind of show you where these things are lined up. And then it pops to them. So you can stretch things out and it'll kind of snap back to where the lines are and it's super easy to move these things around and then for the header type you can change the type of banner title only or you can change the image that's back there when you click change image you can choose from the gallery of images or you can upload your own or you can actually search Google for them. So a lot of different options here for what you decide to do. Ta-da! So then make some little adjustments and you're set to go. So how do you do other stuff in here? Well, you'll notice there's a lot of options here on the right for things to insert. Uh, you can even do charts as well. Uh, if you wanted to, which are really good to include, but you'll need a sheet first that has charts on it. So if you don't have that, you won't be able to do charts. Really, it's all about double clicking. You just double click and you have the option to insert images, embed a URL, put in a text box, insert something from Drive, or upload something. That's it. That's that's really how this works. Uh, with pages, this is where you can create new pages and you can rename your pages. And then I'll take you to new pages and then you can also change the header type here as well if you wanted to, and then your pages go up here if this is the page style you choose. If you don't want that page style, and you can click on the gear on the left, and you can actually go to side navigation, which, when you view your site, uh, will look significantly different. You also have these themes on the right, and these will have some level of impact on how things look and what options you have. There aren't a ton of themes at this point, just a few. And then, like I mentioned, you can just double click to insert things. If I go to images, I'm going to get some of the same options I have before, including the ability to search. And um, these images should all uh, have the commercial reuse with modification on them, so you're good to go, but always good to save the links so you can cite them. And so now I have this picture in here. You'll see how I can make it bigger. It will automatically scale so if you try and scrunch it, uh, you, you really don't want to do that because it'll it'll cut off parts of your picture. So it's not going to distort the image at all. It's going to crop it. Um, and you can crop this way as well. Zoom in and out. You can actually hyperlink the picture. You can uncrop it so it's the full picture. And you can add alternate text or replace the image or delete it. And then I can just double click, 
add some text over here. And once again, I have a few options here. I can do some bolded lists. I can code my font. I can strike through clear formatting. And I have a few options on my type of text there as well. So yeah, the only way to really get more is to code your font, which um, would take a little bit more ability and research to do. So that is the basics of putting in text and pictures. And then the last thing would be you can do some change with the, the ribbons here. So I could change the emphasis and make it red, or I can make it emphasis one, regular, or I can have an image once again as the background. Once again, it should make sense uh, that it's there. And then clearly this really won't work anymore, but look, it adjusts it for readability automatically for us. So new Google Sites is awesome like that. And you can choose some different color schemes here um, in that theme section and some different font styles as well. When you are done with your site, you can test it out by clicking the eyeball. And then you're gonna see your website as it would appear for others. Here's your sidebar where you can jump around to your different pages. Doesn't really make sense. I'm talking about wind energy and then I have the oil is awesome, but uh, yours will be much better than that. And there you have it. And you can also see what it looks like on different devices. So it's going to look on a phone. So it's going to look on a tablet. And this is how it's going to look on a computer. When you're done, click the X. If you like it, then you can simply publish this. Give it a name. Make sure it's available to anybody at the peer or anyone at the web and publish. After you do that, then you'll be able to send somebody the link right here. If you publish site, now you can copy that link and turn that in. So that is the new Google Sites, a great way to show some information.